Tonight we are all saying Uvalde strong and a group of Southeast Texans has just arrived in that town to help the grieving families. Earlier this week we told you about the surviving parents of Southeast Texas who would be making the trip and 12 News is there with them. Our Christiana Ramos has been in Uvalde all day. Uh, she's here tonight to set the scene. I know we're a long way from home, but we wanted to follow this story until the very end. Last week after the Robb Elementary shooting, we introduced you to a group of people, surviving parents of Southeast Texas. They know all too well what it's like to grieve the loss of a loved one. That empathy took them 345 miles away from home. They came here to Uvalde, Texas to support the families of 21 victims who lost their lives. They wanted to help those families navigate their grief. They wanted to offer support with donations to uplift their spirits. You're looking at one of the memorials. There's one at the Robb Elementary School and this one is in the downtown plaza. So we're gonna take you, as you can see, there's 21 crosses with the names of each victim. People from all over the country, California, Alabama, Louisiana and all throughout the state of Texas have been coming and going, dropping off flowers, balloons, toys to show their support and their love for these families and for the victims. There's a lot of love here. And as you can see, there's lots of cars, businesses are still running. They're carrying on with their lives, but there's still a lot of sor sorrow. A dark cloud remains over this community of sadness and anger, and they still want to know what happened on May 24th at Robb Elementary School. We're going to continue to follow surviving parents of Southeast Texas until tomorrow, and we want to show you the families and how they're helping them. So make sure you stick with 12 News on air and online. In Uvalde, Cristiano Ramos, 12 News.